Hello and welcome to a new series that I'm starting called What I Hate About CSGO. This could be about things in the game, such as the mechanics, the community, or tactics used, and today I'm going to talk about the Dust 2 B-Rush. I hate the Dust 2 B-Rush because a lot of the players who like to play the in-game leader role, who generally aren't that good at the game, like to call the B-Rush on round 1 or eco rounds. The thing we're doing a B-Rush on round 1 or eco rounds, you either don't have the firepower to break in on an eco round and kill all the players in there, or if you're playing against a decent team, they'll have spread out equally, so they'll have gone 1 mid, 2A and 2B, or 3A and 2B, so they will have the manpower there to kill you, and because the tunnels are a choke point, they'll at least be able to spray you down with the pistols. Even if the CT side do go full eco on round 1, so they don't buy any guns, they just keep the USPSs or P2000s, they already have an advantage over you because the USPS and P2000 are more powerful than the G18, and especially with that choke point, they can just get up behind the boxes and spray you down. Another thing that annoys me with the B rush is when people rush it without buying smoke. So the only really good way to break into the B site is either to smoke it out so then you can run in easily. If you get three smokes on, smoke out doors and the entrance, then you'll be able to get on easy or if you have an AWPer that's watching the back for you. So they'll just rush in without smoking on without having ops, then they'll just get sprayed down from car and from doors and window. This will make you lose the round, making your economy even worse, and leading you to lose more rounds in the future, and possibly the whole game. Another thing that I really hate about rushing B on just 2, is when a newbie player goes in with the bomb first, and tries to get the entry kills. This is really bad, because he'll generally die straight away if he doesn't have any smokes or any firepower, and then he'll die in the bomb, because the bomb doesn't drop just at your feet when you die, or fly away, and it'll be even harder for you to break in and get it. The only way that you can break in and get that bomb, to either plant it at B, or rotate round to A through lower tunnels and short, is to smoke it out, and if you don't have enough smokes, then you can't get it. This leaves your team in a really bad situation, because the only way they can win the round is to play for kills. They could save, but that's going to lose you a round, and it wouldn't be the best thing to do when you've still got about a minute and a half left. This means that the only way that you're going to really win is to have one or two people watching tunnels to make sure that they don't push through, and then the rest go down lower tunnels and through mid doors. This is risky, as if the enemy team won rounds previously, they'll most likely have ops or auto snipes watching from window and watching mid doors, so that'll be incredibly hard to break through if you don't have any ops. If you have AKs, you might be able to get some lucky headshots and then break in and especially if you have smokes if you can smoke off doors and windows then you can break in easier but it would be much better if you wouldn't have rushed in there with the bomb straight away and died. The only time that I think B rushes are good are when you have full smokes, full armour and full guns and you also don't want to full buy because you want money to fall back on in case that rush doesn't work. So that's my opinion on the B rush on Dust 2 as terrorist side. If you don't like it either tell me in the comments why and I'll see you in next week's episode of Things I Hate in CSGO where I think I'm going to talk about how people's playstyle changes and what they buy when it gets to match point. So if you have enjoyed please like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you next time.